Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Jay from Coding with Jaybird, where I upload weekly tutorials to help build your confidence in coding. Today I'm going to talk about the footer tag. Let's get started, shall we? Here I've shown a visual representation of an HTML document. You have this body tag that wraps around the entire document. Inside of it, it's comprised of several different HTML elements. Now HTML5 has several new elements such as this header tag, the main, which you can see here, and the footer. Now they're useful in breaking the page up into different parts. The element or tag names are pretty self-explanatory. The header element contains the nav element and other navigation links, which are displayed at the top of a web page. Now these meaningful elements are great for screen software as they allow users to ignore things such as a header or a footer and jump straight to the main content. Search engines also place heavy importance on the main tag, which usually contains the main content of the document. Now there are other tags as well that I'm going to get into in videos in the following weeks, but I wanted to focus on these three today. All right, let's put some of this into practice. So here's just a sample starter document that I've created. Um, it's just got a title and some basic meta tags. Let's start by creating our header element. Now a header element simply has an opening and closing header tag. And the H1 usually goes within this. This is usually followed by a navigation. And again, that's just a nav opening and closing tag. And usually you have an unordered list within this with some list items. I'm going to create a simple tourism web page. So let's start with having a home page and about, perhaps a tourism section, and lastly, a contact us. Now, once you're beyond the header, you get to the main portion of the document. The main tag is used for the main content of a web page. There should only be one main tag in a particular document, and it should contain some unique and important content that only occurs once in the document and it should be nested directly inside the body. So you don't place the main within the header tag. It should be placed loosely in the body tag, like so. And now in this main tag, I can have an H2 heading, my main, and most important content. So in here, I could have something like, let's say, an image. Now I have an image here in this folder of Banff, so I'm gonna go ahead and target that. So I'll just say banff.jpg, since it's sitting loosely in this folder next to the index.html file. And I'll just give this a width of, say 450 pixels, and let's not forget our alt tag, oops. Banff main image. And of course, I need some content to go within this. So let's have a P tag. And here, I'll just put some lore mipsum for now. All right, there you go. So now we have our header at the very top of the document. And then this is our main section. Now there are other elements that I'm not going to get into for now. It's just gonna be the header, the main, and I'm gonna move on to the footer element. And once again, you just have an opening and closing footer tag. Now the footer usually includes copyright and contact info. It may also include other nav links or a back to top link. Now note, you can have more than one footer in one document. So several times you'll find a footer in a different section of a particular web page. All right, so for our main footer, I'm just gonna have a P tag and typically you'll see a small element within it. And I'll just write coding with Jaybird. And I can use and copy semicolon to get my copyright symbol. And here you can see we have a footer with some small text, coding with Jaybird, copyright 2022. We can even insert an email link. Once again, it's typically written in small text. So let's say I have an A tag. I'll just say abc at banff.com. And let's not forget to set up our H reference to the email. Mail to abc at banff.com. And there you have it. We have a footer with some copyright information and some contact information. 
hope you learned something new today and are enjoying these video tutorials. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you can be notified of new videos as I release them every week. Until next week, keep on coding!